<clears throat> Hola, good morning. Hello. This is our weekly lob for our friends across the pond. <clears throat> And I still got my goodies out here from last night, so I'm going to continue this, if that's all right with you guys. How's your Thursday? It's so pretty here. I don't want to be inside today, but I got to I gotta buckle down. I'm still filming today. Let's see who we've got joining that's maybe um, overseas with us. Hi, Trina. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Cindy. Hi, Teresa. Teresa, did you decide if you're coming back to be with me on Monday? We got a super deal on an e-file for Monday for all my students attending the e-file course. It's 50% off. Cannot believe that. Hi, Sarah. You've been so busy, honey. I'm glad you're back, boo. Hi, Maria. Hey, Kimberly. You're still working on it. Hi, Rebecca. Okay, love. Sounds good. I have been, anytime I teach a, like even a little mini boot camp, I get behind on other stuff here at work. Um, so I've been trying to get caught up on that and um, I had several orders I needed to place and sometimes those aren't easy, you know, just trying to navigate everything. We did this beauty last night, if you didn't get to tune in. I thought that was so pretty and I don't know where her sister went to. I had glitters on her. I have no idea where she got to. But uh, yeah, anyway, I wanted to continue my little Neon Roses session this morning because I love, love, love all things neon. So let's get to it. Let me get some primer on these black nails. Hi, Deb. Hi, Kelly. Thanks y'all for joining us today. I'm gonna do another little neon rose technique here. Let me just let that dry and then I will put a little base coat down on those. Who's got weekend plans? I, um, I got some spring cleaning to do this weekend. Look, I clean every weekend. <laughs> but um, I want to tidy up my deck and those kinds of things. Some outside stuff is what I want to do. I don't have any inside spring cleaning to do. Because I deep clean pretty much every time I clean. But I want to do my deck and my porches and get my flower boxes ready for planting. I'm going to wait a couple more weeks to plant here because, you know, it's fairly, uh, we, it was cold last night here. It was in the 30s. So I don't want to plant them too soon and then end up uh, losing it. Okay, let's put these in the lamp. Oh, I'm out of tips. Let me get some more. I'm waiting to put out my Creeping Jenny and all that kind of good stuff. I may try my hand with a sweet potato vine this year. You're painting your kitchen. Oh, Child, you've taken an undertaking then. Didn't you just move or have you moved? Or you're going to move, Sarah? I, I know I saw something about that. Okay, this is done. Um, I want to put down some blooming gel and some white. If you didn't see this little organizational palette last night, it's labeled where you put your stuff, boo. Okay. Let 
Let's get some white gel polish. Is this the right one? Yes. I'm going to put me a little spot of that down here. And I'm going to need some blooming gel. I love blooming gel. I don't know. It's just something about it that is like fascinating to me. Let's see where we've got that. I just used it yesterday. Look, you can tell it's been a busy day when I don't know where my stuff is at. Let's pop on some blooming gel over top of that base coat as thin as possible. Thin, thin, thin. Do we have anybody watching from our UK area today? Who have we got? Are you watching from outside the United States? I know we had several people watching from Australia last night. We love it when y'all pop on and join us. Now I'm going to do that same rose I did on here. On this. With my white gel polish. And let her kind of take her time. And bloom out. I remember when I first started seeing blooming gel, you know, typically things originate outside of us before they, you know, do here in the United States. And I couldn't figure out what they were using. I tried it in several things. And then it wasn't long. Two or three months later. And boom, we had blooming gel. And I might not have, I might have got my blooming gel too thin. We'll see. We'll see. And then as I get down here, I just kind of let it wrap on around. There she goes. And I really want this to bloom out a lot. So I'm just going to let it sit here and do its thing. And then I'll come back to it. Look how pretty that's going to be. Isn't that pretty? On the other one, I've not tried this before either. I'm going to try some scroll work with my blooming gel. Oh, Lord. Scroll work can be the devil, even not in blooming gel. So I'm going to try it and see how it does. Hey, Karen. Hi, Judith. Hi, Christina. Okay. Let's see here. Our team is busy today. Obviously, we're busy every day. And after we do a video, we get hit pretty hard with orders. So they're not only working on that today. Oh, I got my scale off. Hold on. Um, we're having to do a lot of rearranging in-house today because we've got so many new products coming in. We don't actually know where we're going to put them. So that's what they're working on today also is getting some merchandise moved around and shifted uh, to try to make room for the new things. Yes, our new top coats are on the way. Our new alcohol inks are on the way. Our one of our summer polish collections is on the way. We have two summer polish collections this year. One of those is on the way. One is still in production. There we go. 
I think y'all are going to love both of them. We got, we just restocked a bunch of decals. They're on the way. Oh, yes. Now that's kind of doing what I want it to do. And look at this little lady right here, what she's done. Let's put her in the lamp. Look, I've never done scroll work in Blooming Gel before. I'm just watching what she does here. I think I will stop about right there. You know, it never blooms the same way. Mm -mm. It greatly depends on the temperature in your workspace. And when I work under a lot of hot lights, I feel like it blooms out a little bit quicker. Like my office is always hotter than everybody else's. I need a personal air conditioner in my office. Because my body temperature, you know, runs hot. You haven't had a chance to use a blooming gel, girl. Okay, that's as much as I kind of want that to bloom. I'm going to put her in the light because when we do, that stops the blooming process. Right? In case you didn't know that. And then I'm going to get my old brush here. Give me some little towels. And get my neon pigments. I know I got a little in there from last night. This was the glitter I used last night. This is called Jelly Bean. And this is the neon pigment set that I used last night. 12 pieces of pigment. And these are full to the brim jars. It's not just a little sprinkly. That's 10 years worth of pigment in there, honey. So today I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use a little blue. Let me back off here so you can see what I'm putting out. Blue green, yellow, coral. I want this pinky purple and then purple. I'm going to try and get all of this on the nail, six of them. Oh, honey. You know, one of the things that always worried me when I was behind the chair is I knew I could do pretty much any nail art but I was scared I wouldn't have the supplies to do it with. Anybody else worry about stuff like that? Or is it just me? And I work out of the lids primarily on these little guys. That's how I ended up with such a collection of product is I want it to be able to basically meet all of my clients' requests. And the reason I'm tapping my jar is to get excess powder out of the lids down into the jar. Because it just takes such a tiny amount. I've used these. Gosh, I've probably been using this same set for two years. And look how full my jars are. You need a strong pigmented neon powder when you use it. Oh, Lord, that's pretty. You don't want one that is pastel to begin with because it, it, um, when you top coat it, it loses a little bit of its vibrancy when you top coat. So you, you want that strong pigment. All right, we're going to top coat this nail with some velvet matte top coat, just like that. before we put our pigments on. A lot of people put their pigment in a tacky layer. You can do that too. But if you want the soft blend like I'm going for, you'll want to put it over matte. I want this to look airbrushed. And in we go. Let's go ahead and do this one. I was so tired last night, I couldn't quite think straight. I never went to sleep the night before. I think I've told y'all I have sleep issues. Um, a lot of creative people do. I have at least one night a week that I don't sleep well, 
but then I'll go about once every three weeks, I have a night or two, I never go to sleep. So last night when I finally went to bed, I'd been up like 36 hours. Um, and I slept so good. I slept enough last night for the next three days, probably. <laughs> I went to bed about 930. I always have my phone go on do not disturb at eight o'clock. So, you know, otherwise my system stays up too wired. 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. it goes on do not disturb and I really slept really good last night. Okay, if you want a screenshot, here are the colors I'm using. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a little palette of each of these colors. I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna work from this little palette right here Let's see, one moment, let me get, I think I'm gonna make that on a paper towel instead because these don't have enough grippy on it. Let's try it this way. I need something with a little texture. Here we go. So right here is where we'll pick up our pigment from, not out of the jar top. I'll get too much if I do. slide over so we can see what I'm doing here. See my little palette I'm making? And then I'm just cleaning off my brush like that before I go into another color. Oh, this is pretty. I so want to change my nails to neon. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I am. Next week uh, is going to be a crunch week. I have lots of filming I need to do this weekend, next week. And um, I'm taking a couple of days off to spend with my children for spring break, which leads right into a giant class I'm taking. So I'll be away from my office for about 10 days. I'll still be working, but I'll have to work remote, you know. Um, so I got to do all the packing for my class, all the packing for spring break. So yeah, I'm gonna slide these over and we're gonna work right from here. All right, here we go, GGO. Let me zoom in a bit. I'm gonna pick up my, what do I want in the middle? I think I want yellow in the middle. And I'll work that yellow into that soft velvety uh, matte layer. Let's do both of these. While I have yellow in my brush, let's just go ahead and touch a tiny bit here too. Only this one, I want my yellow to start at the top. Then I don't clean out my brush. I go straight into the next color, which is gonna be green. And I'm going to work that green around this way. Come down with a little green here. If your towel gets dry, you just go back into the lid and deposit some more color into your towel. Now I'm going to go with uh, definitely blue. Look at that pretty soft airbrushy look I'm getting. Isn't that gorgeous? Just keep scrubbing it into the surface. Take your time.
clean out your brush. And from here, I'm gonna go into purple. I like purple and blue to kind of fade into each other. Let me get a little bit more of that purple on my brush. There we go. And some purple over here. Clean off your brush. Let's go into the hot pink. And obviously we don't have any more room up there. So the bottom of this nail will go into this pretty hot pink. And into uh, the color or the coral, I'm sorry. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, look at that. And let's go over here. And I think that's about good on there. Now you can see it's neon, but it's pastel at the same time, right? Yeah. What I like to do is um, I am going to seal this a little bit before I go in with my next step here. I'm going to seal this up with a little bit of matte top gel. And you can see how it, it lifts just a tiny bit of that powder off of there, but not much, not much. Because I'm going to paint another layer on top of here. And we go. And I don't even worry about, like we've got some pigment sitting in that black air. I don't care about that because once you start putting on top gel, look how it, it blends it into the background of the nail. It, that totally just goes away. If you're not a good hand painter, you can do this over stamping. Absolutely, this works so pretty over stamping. Just stamp it in white. Use your neon pigments with it. Okay, in we go. Oh, it takes your breath away. It's gorgeous. And look, my drink matches it today. I am drinking, um, I have loved water enhancers, but I haven't been able to drink them. Um, every time I was drinking, if you remember last year, I had about with about probably eight or nine UTI infections and it was the drink mix I was using. Yes, honey. So, um, Rebecca, if she's watching, she told me about this one that has no aspartame in it. And sure enough, I tried this one. And it's been game on, honey. It has not bothered me at all. This strawberry peach is so good. And I also found it in um, grape. It's the Welch's Singles. So I got to go get me some more. I only bought two boxes last week just to make sure it wasn't going to bother me. I found this at Family Dollar. But yes, that's what I'm drinking today. Typically... Oh, Lord, I put the wrong top coat on these, y'all. I grabbed um, sh um, shiny top coat instead of matte. Sorry about that. Let me get my matte and put that on here. Anyway, we're just going to pretend Miss Tracy had the right top coat on. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. At least it sealed up our um, colors, right? <laughs> okay. 
Look, I tell everybody, especially in my classes, because um, people get intimidated that their work doesn't look like my work or their neighbors or whoever. Um, when you go back and do this, nobody's comparing. Nobody knows what mine looked like. They don't know what your neighbors looked like. All they know is, boy, that's pretty. And part of learning nail art is learning how to fix the boo-boos. And they, luckily that was an easy fix, right? Yes, honey. Okay, we're going to bring in this little lady that has our white gel polish on it. Let me slide that over in our nine millimeter brush. Like this right here. I was saying my daily drinks consisted of coffee and Diet Coke. I never drank water. So I'm trying to do better about getting back on track with my water consumption. For sure. All right, now we are back where we should be. Let's take our white gel polish. And I am going to put a highlight on this, but I want the highlight to be on the inside of the petal. So the inside of the petal is right here, not out here, for example. So here is this inside. Y'all hear my messages? Lord. And then we have an inside here. And I think I'm going to let that just kind of curve around a bit. No, I'm not. I'm not. Because then I'll get into my next little, my next little spin here. Let me do that again then. So I want this one highlighted here. And this one highlighted here. There we go. That's pretty. That's pretty. Get in frame, Thelma. And then we highlight on the inside here. Don't cover up that little spacer area, that little black area. And then here is the inside of that petal. This is the little tedious part. And then we highlight here. I try not to make mine too regular. I like little curvy, squiggly lines. Gonna go here. Right in here. Oh, that's pretty. Karen. And here. Just stay right inside that little line. Oh, we got one more up here at the top too. Let's catch this one. And down here. so many ways you can paint roses. I love painting roses. And let me do this area. And 
right in there. One more. In we go with that. While that's curing, we're going to do the same thing to our scroll work. Typically, I wouldn't paint scroll work with um, gel polish, but this gaudy white is so good. I know it doesn't move very much, so I'm just going to continue with that. Now, this one I have to do a little differently. I've got to establish my scroll work pattern in here. Or else this is just going to look like a mess. Okay. See there? And I'm going to go inside of here and lay a few extra little strokes in. And let me just even, let's piggyback this one. Let's do that. There we go. And come this way. See how pretty that's looking, putting that detail on there. like you paint the design twice. First time you paint it, you want it to really, you know, bloom out and move and kind of go places. Second time you paint it, you want it to have its nice, pretty detail format to it. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. And let's bring this one in like that. Kind of pull that out on the end. Yes. In any place you have some white showing, like right here, we can add in an extra little stroke there because it'll have a glow behind it. And now we'll cure that. I don't know if I turned the lamp on on my other nail or not. Let me check it and see, because I was talking to y'all. I did. Now we move this out of the way. We bring our pigments back into play. Make sure your brush is clean. That's why you need a brush. You don't mind getting kind of scruffy for this because you do this so much, um, it, it does tend to wear your brush out. So now we're gonna go right back over this yellow area where I put that highlight in. And we put just a little bit of that over the highlight, right? Clean out, go into the green. I'm going to have to reload my little track here. Pop in a little green. A little bit of green right there. Look, I could use pigments all day. I Love them. I love, love, love my pigments. Let's put a little blue right in there. And a little purple. When I didn't have a lot of gel polish colors, you know, when I first got started doing nails, 
I did use pigments a lot, and that's before I even knew about nail pigments. I had some art pigments, um, and I was using those just because I didn't know any better, and I didn't have anything else. You know, there's this big controversy that you shouldn't use acrylic paint on somebody's nails. You need to use cosmetic grade. Honey, back in the day, acrylic paint, all we had. There was no such thing as a cosmetic grade paint. Look, we even painted kids' faces with acrylic paint. <laughs> Nobody died. Not a soul, honey. What that detail did to that. Isn't that pretty? And I prefer to keep uh, this kind of artwork matte. I don't shiny this artwork because I do want it to look airbrushed. And we go, oh, look at this together with what I painted last night. Oh, child, shut the front door. Okay, let's go in a lamp. Don't get too excited yet. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. Remember, whatever color you have behind that, you got to match up on the front or else you don't get the glow. You get something that makes your brain go, huh? <laughs> what did she just do? So go back into the yellow. And we had yellow right here. And I'm going to have to have some more pigment. Blue. That's why I'm telling y'all, these pigments will last you forever. You get a really good, um, highly pigmented neon and not these things that are pastel. If it's pastel, it's not neon. And here we go with our matte top coat. That is going to be beautiful. And we go. We can trash that. And then we put our lids. Look, I still have pigment left in the lid. I used so little. Put this right back in here. I love the little case that these are in because it kind of keeps it all together for me. Here we go. We have something sparkly coming next week that may or may not involve ladybugs. Oh, Lord. I hope I ordered enough of them. I can't wait to show y'all. And then I just put my little colors right back in here upside down.
And here is our nails. There's the one we did last night. Isn't that pretty? Like I totally, I want to do my nails in something neon, but I totally want to wear that. I think that is beautiful. Because right now a lot of people are doing this um, acrylic rose on the nail where you have to look, it kind of looks way down deep in and it's all dimensional. But if you don't wear acrylic or you don't wear like a certain shape of gel nail, it's hard to get that on there. And I kind of feel like this gives us the look of that without doing all of the filing and the building up and that sort of thing. Aren't these pretty? Thank y'all for joining me today. So I use the same bundle as uh, we used last night, basically. Listen, happy Thursday. Thank y'all for being here. I'm going to hop off here. And uh, I have recording of the advanced one stroke course to do today. If you didn't get to see these last night, I've started filming um, that class. Look at this, how pretty. These ones, I can't wait to get these photographed. These ones, it's nice and sunny out today. And these all have a um, candy chrome background. So I'm going to try to get my pictures outside of these today. Happy Thursday. I'll see y'all Sunday. Bye-bye.